want to ask you about your division uh, championship rematch coming up. T, T. Wood versus um, Wonder Boy Thompson. Yeah. Uh, tell us first, uh, what do you think about the first fight and, and how do you see the rematch playing out? Um, it's, it's an interesting, another interesting fight, man. Um, clash of styles. Um, I'm friends with Wonder Boy. Um, I'm cool with T. Wood as well. Um, it, I, to be honest, the first fight, I, I picked Wonder Boy to win. I was there live. I thought Tyron did enough to win. I thought that he got robbed in terms of them giving it a draw. I thought that he did enough. It should have been, I think, three to two uh, scoring. Um, so I think um, Wonder Boy got kind of lucky. It's interesting the matchup though, man, because if you look at it like who learns more from the first fight, you would have to give that advantage to Tyron. Tyron went against the most unorthodox striker um, in Wonder Boy, and he was able to learn a lot from that fight. Where where Wonder Boy can get a lot of heavy-handed wrestlers and train against that all day. You know what I mean? So when you look at who gained the most knowledge from that first fight and who should be able to use that to the advantage in the next fight, I gotta give the advantage to Tyron. And then I thought Tyron won the first fight, so I'm kind of leaning towards Tyron in the second fight in the rematch. But with that said, I felt like the thing that Wonder Boy did wrong in that fight was he had Tyron push against the cage numerous times. And normally he pulls the trigger, normally he goes spinning back kick, he goes punches the kicks, he hides the kicks behind the, the hands and, and he looks for the, the strikes. But he was very tentative against Tyron. He didn't pull the trigger numerous times, he had Tyron backed up and he never pulled the trigger. And I think that was his opportunity, his window of opportunity to put Tyron away, he didn't take advantage of it. If he's able to do that in this next fight, put Tyron against the cage and pull the trigger, I think he can put Tyron away. If he stays tentative again against the cage, I think Tyron has the better advantage because he's going to know Wonder Boy's style a lot more in this fight and be able to correct some of the mistakes that he made. I, I know Wonder Boy's kind of considered obviously the the, the karate guy and, and obviously going to use his kicks more, but I feel like Tyron's leg kicks were underutilized and I mean it looked like he almost cut him in half like in the second round. I think he hit him with like a, a leg kick and he just didn't use it that much. I, I don't Tyron kicking Wonder Boy? Yeah, Tyron kicking Wonder Yeah, I would stay away from that though. You know, Tyron might be... You know, he's working with Duke Rufus, an amazing coach, and I'm sure he's well round, making his game much more well-rounded. But in a case like this, where you're going against a high-level striker who's very light on his feet, switches stances constantly, has an amazing... Uh, his best weapon, in my mind, um, Wonder Boy is his sidekick. He keeps you at bay with his sidekick. He keeps you at bay, keeps you guessing, chipping away at the body, and then he sets up strikes from that. So I would not, if I was Tyron, try to chop the legs, unless it's a given. If you have him hurt, beating him up against a cage, and there's a free leg there, by all means, shop it away. But if you're going to stand in the middle of the cage and he's looking for leg kicks, it's going to be, it's a lower percentage for Tyron to look for the leg kicks as it is opposed to Tyron looking for the blitz overhand right, which he does very well. He's got a very good blitz attack. He's got a tremendous right overhand. That's his more higher percentages. I would stick, I would stick with that and then utilize the wrestling again. You know, he was able to get Wonderboy down, almost get him in a guillotine. Um, over, pretty much keep doing what he's doing. You know, he's, he's fantastic at blitzing, power overhand rights, takedowns, utilize that, manage your gas tank wisely. I uh, want to ask you, man, what's, uh, what's next for you? Who, who, who do you need to fight to kind of crack that, like, top 10? Yeah, I mean, it just it has to be somebody in the top 10, top 15. That's mm -hmm. it, you know. Um, I've already went on this rant for the last <laughs> couple of months about, you know, I won my last three. I was undefeated last year, five out of my last six, yada, yada, yada. I've already feel like I, I've proven myself worthy. And I've let the UFC know that. Look, I'm not looking for another sideways fight. I'm not looking to fight guys that are ranked behind me or that doesn't move me up the ladder. I'm only looking to fight upward. I've let them know that. So um, it, that, I was just waiting on the call. You know, I've got some, some good feedback from the UFC. Some, some things are in the works, hopefully. I'm just hoping to get a call back from them soon and uh, lock something down. But, but they know it, man. They know that... Um, that I'm worthy. I, mean, I should be in the top 15 right now, but the way the rankings are, they don't make any sense. I mean, they've got six of the uh, of the top 15 guys are coming off of like two losses in a row, and I'm on a three-fight win streak, and they're ranked in the top 15, and I'm ranked like 29. So the, I know the rankings don't matter, but in my mind, I'm looking for my road to the belt, and I know what I need to do. I need to get in the rankings, have a beautiful display, have a beautiful uh, performance, let the UFC know that I'm here to stay. And then from there, I could get my momentum for the belt. Cause, but getting the belt is about momentum. It's getting, it's getting big wins, great performances against big names. And if you're fighting sideways all the time, then that's not getting momentum. If you're on the prelims fighting no namers, that's not going to get you momentum. And I'm ready to take that step and get my momentum for the belt. So there's good things coming. I promise. I probably will have an announcement within a week. I promise. We're excited to hear it, man. I I, I love watching you fight.